Hi everybody, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. I got some acrylic paints. Got them on Amazon. But I'm going to take this painting and I'm gonna embellish it with some acrylic pa paints. So you just get to shake it up. And that takes a minute. But see the tip? So it's not a fine point tip. But if it was a paintbrush, it would be, right? And then, this is just for beginners, if you don't know. Then you press down. Pressing it. And that will allow the paint to start to saturate. But you need to shake it up really good first. So that's how you use them. Let's play and have some fun and see what happens. Thanks for being here. All right, here we go. So we've got some colors. I shook these all these little bad boys up and and um, shook them all up and I like the colors. So what I want to do is I want to do want to fill in here a little bit in the back and you can see right here this is not how I want it to be. Okay, so I'm going to fix that, but I also want to embellish a little bit. This is kind of trippy what I did here. This is, and I did this all with paint. I am a lefty, but I want to just give a little dimension. So I can't do real thin little things, but I can do some little stuff like that. Okay. Make them a little bit higher. Okay, and I'm gonna just kinda curve it a little bit because I want it to show that it's moving around. Okay, so that goes out, then this starts to kinda curve Take another one, curve it. I can make a V with that. Curve it. I can make a V, curve it. Okay, so now I'm bringing it around. Now I could make this one, see how this petal goes down? This petal kind of goes straight out, so I can just kind of go straight out with that. Then it starts to curve down. Okay, so now I've added a little more dimension here. Easy peasy. And I didn't have to get my paints out. And I didn't have to mix anything. I don't have to have water next to me. Okay, that's this cute color. It's a little different on here. Of course, it's going against paint too. I actually thought that I would want to use this color. Wasn't sure, then I wasn't sure about it. Then I got this color ready. And then actually the last color I looked at, I liked the best for what was gonna go there. Now, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. It's still, it's really wet, okay? So now let's take a look at this here. This is messed up and I do have a yellow. It's not gonna be the same yellow, but I can fill it in a little bit and then I can go get some yellow paint. Another thing I have here, it looks like a little speck of, um, little speck of, um, silver or something. I don't know. Can I cover it up? That's pretty light. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Let's go with a little orange. Maybe that's going to be better. Kind of a little boop there. Okay. So I want to go like this. So I see a line here already. This orange is a little bit different color. So I want that to come out like that. And 
end. Kind of want that to come out like that. Okay. Um, maybe just a little shadow right there. Okay, so then this, I want this to be yellow in here. Am I using the green or the yellow? What's the yellow? Some kind of yellow. I think I used neon colors with this when I originally did it. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, and then Let's cover this up. These are supposed to be water resistant too. Okay. Just do a little darker green in here. Okay. Now what I really want to do is I want to outline some of these petals in white. That's what I really want to do. And I want to see if it makes a difference. If it tends to make it a little more funky. Working with pens is not going to be as fast as as working with um, probably with the painting, or maybe that's just because I'm just starting to try these. But I do like how it's going down. I think it's pretty cool. hand gets in the way so I'll move it. I like that sound, huh? I'm just going over acrylic paint. This paint's been dry for a while. I did this over the summer. I don't know if I recorded it or not. I was just playing around. I made a pretty thin line there just by doing it, uh, holding this on the edge like this. Kind of like coloring, you know, coloring for grown ups. Haha. <laughs>
Mm, Trying to remember because I shouldn't have done that. So let's just done it with white. But it wasn't necessarily thinking. Not far ahead, was I? You. Anyway, you get the idea, right? You get the idea? Let's just try to, I want to make it easy on myself here. Oh yeah, that's what I want to do. Just make it like this. Let's try that again. And then there's that there, but I like that orange there. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It just seems so light. I think I'm going to have to add some paint in there, actually. That's what I think I'm going to have to do. Um, because Into the petals. But this is fun for outlining. I think it's going to dry flat, so I don't know what that's going to mean. If you glaze it, if that's going to change things, but it does look a little flat. So I didn't even look to see if it said that they were glossy or flat. I don't know if they make them gloss, if they can make these glossy or not, but this is looking pretty flat to me. But it does add a nice little punch to it, don't you think? Nice little extra kick to put, to outline the petals. Just for fun, this is just one of those fun flowers. So I literally thought I could take the, take a color like this, you know what I mean? And then, um, you know, do something with it. But um, it's not super bright, so no. I think that this might require paint. But if I had started with this color, 
but I really like that yellow. I could have kept it this, you know, I could have done it like this and it would still look cool with this orange here. So maybe we'll just put a little orange in a few places just to, just for the fun of it, just switch it up a little bit. Bring a little balance because what I'm doing is I'm leaving that orange there, even though it's brighter. I'm going to cover that too. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Let's do this one. See how easy that comes out? Just coming right out there. Very good. We'll redo that white in a minute. And then, then let's just go ahead and do this little section. Whoops. I better turn it. Let's do this section right here. Well, there you go. I'm just playing around with some acrylic pens. There's some other stuff I want to do. I think I'm going to do another video where I'm just going to do acrylic pens on um, a little canvas like this. And I'm going to get ready to do that really soon here. go. Now, how I would look at it this way would be, I'm sitting over here on this side, so I would look at it like that. There you go. How to do some outlining. Hope you had fun. Hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will, and leave me a comment. And let me know if there's any colors you want me to check out, but I'm just going to try doing like some squigglies and stuff like that in the next one. All right, thanks for being here, you guys. Peace.